Hi everybody, in this video we're going to be taking a look at techniques that you can use in order to write full electron configurations. So we're going to be looking at electron configurations for the elements hydrogen, lithium, carbon, and scandium. And I uh, like to use the periodic table from webelements.com, so I've included that in this video. The other thing that I've included on screen already for you is the diagonal diagram which can help you to remember the order in which the different sublevels will fill with electrons. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at our process that we would use in order to figure out an electron configuration. So we'll consider the element hydrogen first. Now hydrogen is located up here on the periodic table and we know from its atomic number that it has one proton. This means that it has one electron. Now, this one electron is going to go into the first energy level in the 1s sublevel with an electron configuration of 1s1. Next, we'll look at lithium, which has an atomic number of three, three electrons. The first two electrons will go into the 1s sublevel. We'll write 1s2. And then the one additional electron will go into the second energy level in the 2s. So 1s2, 2s1 is the full electron configuration for lithium. Carbon on the periodic table we find has an atomic number of six. This means it has six electrons. Now those electrons are going to be placed by following the Aufbau principle. So we'll go 1s2, 2s2 because every S sublevel can hold up to two electrons. And then finally, we'll fill into the 2P right here. There will be two electrons that go into the 2P sublevel. Finally, we'll take a look at the electron configuration for scandium, which has a total of 21 electrons. Again, we want to start out from the beginning. So we'll start out at 1S. So we have 1S2. Next comes 2s2, so here's 1s2, 2s2. Now we move across from 4 to 5, so we move to 2p, and we count all the way across 2p6. Next up we'll go to 3s, so we have 3s2, and then from 12 we go to 13. So this is the beginning of 3p, so we'll have 3p6. This brings us up to, so far, 18 electrons. Then we go to 4s. Two electrons will be held there. And finally, to place electron 21, we go to 3D. And there will be a total of one electron placed there. So if you use these guidelines, you can write electron configurations for any element. Good luck with all of your chemistry problems.